Back in the kitchen with Lucy from Greer's Markets. Lucy, great to see you as always. Thank you. It is the fall. We're getting closer and closer mm -hmm. to Halloween. Yes. You've got some good warm food for us. We can talk a little bit more about that, but let's start with the food. What okay. are we going to make? We are making a fall version of okay. chicken pot pie. So today we're going to fill it with some of the usual suspects and also some butternut squash, which Ooh. people are really into really all year long now, but especially during the fall and some mushrooms and some thyme. And so we're gonna get started first on sauteing some of our veggies. You know what I just realized? What? We were supposed to have pumpkin spice lattes on the show <gasps> together today. Oh, I forgot. We forgot, we both forgot. Okay. When you started talking about squash and I saw the orange, I put it together, it's like, oh man. We'll have to do it when it gets closer to Halloween. Yeah, yeah, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll do that for sure. If you missed it, we neither <laughs> one of us have ever had it. We know everyone talks about mm -hmm. them all the time, so we figure why not try them together and make a pumpkin spice latte party here on Studio 10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll be fun. Um, okay, so I just did a tablespoon of olive oil, a tablespoon of butter, mm -hmm. and I have um, about half a cup of onion chopped up and the same amount of celery. Okay. So we're just going to yep, put that in there. And then I was also getting to work on the fresh thyme that I mentioned. It comes, um, you know, right there in the produce department. Fresh thyme is one of my favorite herbs and you can definitely grow it at your house. It grows well or um, of course buy it right there in the grocery store. We sell it in these little packs, which um, is really great because it doesn't come with too much. A lot of people, you know, you use it for like mm, one recipe right. and then you're like, oh gosh, what am I going to do with it? And I, you know, wasted all this money. So these are really inexpensive and um, it really is going to add a really nice flavor to our chicken pot pie. So also with that in here, I have half a teaspoon of salt and I have a quarter teaspoon of poultry seasoning and that is going to and it's just a little bit but it's really going to add a warmth to our chicken pot pie and that flavor of fall you know of course yeah. it's used um, when you're getting ready for Thanksgiving and doing your turkey um, and then I also have a little bit of pepper in there so we're actually going to wait and add these at the end Okay. Um, so once we, I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit. Okay. So once we let the onion and celery go for a few minutes, we're going to then add in the mushrooms. So this is just an eight ounce package of mushrooms and I use the cremini ones, um, which are the darker ones. And I just quarter those or you could chop them up even further. And the reason why we don't want to add the salt here at the beginning is because if we add the salt onto these mushrooms before they get a chance to brown up, they don't want to brown up for you. Because oh. the salt draws um, moisture out of right. things and so the mushrooms won't get that nice brown color. So when you're cooking mushrooms, just add the seasoning at the end, if you want them to get nice and brown, Sounds which good. we do. So we'll go ahead and add these in. So okay. our veggies are gonna get soft and um, our mushrooms are going to brown up. And in the microwave, I have our butternut squash. So I'm using about a two pound butternut squash and I'll show it to you. I cut off both ends and then I put it in the microwave for about four minutes just so it can soften up and we can peel it. And so we're gonna dice that up and get it roasting in the oven. All right, sounds good. We're gonna take a little break. We'll come back and do that. We'll talk more about what's going on for Halloween this year at Greer's and much more here to come on Studio 10. Thanks a lot, Lucy. Thank you. Back with Lucy from Greer's working on some chicken pot pie today, Lucy. Yes, we are working on a fall version mm -hmm. and you have done a great job well, with our veggies. You know, I do what I can. I know. I, I aim to help out. Joe is good in the kitchen and he is working on our onion and celery. Mm -hmm. and mushrooms. So we are cooking that in a combination of olive oil and butter. And we have that on medium high heat. We wanted to get some color on our mushrooms, which we're doing. Right. So that's smelling really good. And right now I am working on our butternut squash. So I had about a two pound butternut squash and I just trimmed off the ends. Mm -hmm. And I poked a few holes in it and popped it in the microwave. And I cooked it in the microwave for just about four minutes or so, just until it gets soft enough to handle, so to peel. So if anybody's ever cooked with butternut squash before, it is very, very hard. It's um, very firm and it can be very hard to peel. So if you just soften it up in the microwave a little bit, then it peels easier. And I just peeled it with a knife or you could do a vegetable peeler and 
then I just took on one end, you know, pumpkin, the, the seeds and the insides are all throughout the middle. Right. But on a butternut squash, it's just on one end. Okay. So you will find the seeds and the insides in there, and you can roast the butternut squash seeds just like pumpkin seeds. Um, my mom always roasted pumpkin seeds when we were little. Yeah, we and did I, that too. Oh, they're so good. They I love good. that. So you can do that with butternut squash too. And now I am just, as you can see, it's still really firm. Right. Um, so I'm just dicing it up into just kind of small cubes. And I have the oven on at 400. So we're going to toss it in a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper. And just let it soften up a little bit so, um, you know, it's almost fully cooked when it goes into our pot pie. So how are you doing with uh, your fall decorations at the house and stuff? You guys ready? <laughs> well, <laughs> let me just say that the fall decorations at our stores are a lot better <laughs> than my house. Yep. Luckily, my neighbor, Jinx, is always taking care of us. And for every occasion, she puts a, a bow or a wreath that she makes on our um, on our mailbox or on our door. <laughs> so I do have a fall nice. Halloween-themed bow on my mailbox, but I certainly do not have the talent to do that. But it's so fun seeing the stores, um, all the yeah. mums are out, mm -hmm. and all the pumpkins, and the Halloween candy. I mean, it's just a fun time of year. Yeah. So we're all set for all that kind of stuff, and, um, you know, trick-or-treating is going to be here before we know it, and if you want to pick up something easy, you know, our delis, a lot of our stores have delis, and I am using in this recipe a rotisserie chicken for our chicken pot pie, and I thought, oh my gosh, you know, I need to remember that when it's Halloween night, I can just grab something from the deli or get a rotisserie mm. chicken and do something oh. easy so the kids can eat before we go out trick or treating. See, what I was going to do is I was going to make mini chicken pot pies and put them in all the trick or treat bags for all the trick or treat. <laughs> yeah, I'm <laughs> sure you were. <laughs> um, but, and this would be a good one too. You know, you could get it ready the day before, yeah. and then you could just have it heating up in the oven you can eat when you get home or whatever so um, like I said I'm using a rotisserie chicken so I already pulled the meat and it's in our bowl back there I think you're ready for your seasonings I am ready for my seasonings. so remember we did some fresh thyme with yeah. about a tablespoon and then I have a quarter teaspoon of poultry seasoning a quarter teaspoon of pepper and a half a teaspoon of salt so that's gonna go in there and and we'll put that in there. We're going to put that in the oven. Yep, I'm going to do a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper on this. Okay. And I have on the website, and I've done on here before, um, chicken pot pie. I love chicken pot pie. And if you go on the website, it says Posey and Papa's chicken pot pie, which is my grandparents. And my grandfather was an absolute awesome cook. My grandmother Posey, who I talk about, um, and she's actually been on before, is an excellent baker. And so she would always make the crust, and Papa would, of course, make the filling. And and this is actually his blue, um, yeah, his blue bowl. I called my mom. I was like, hey, do you have um, Papa's pot pie um, bowl? And she was like, yeah. And so I went over there and grabbed it. And I was like, I really think this should be living at my house. Yeah. She's like, I don't think so. Um, so it's kind of fun to use his, his bowl for this. So I'm just going to do a tablespoon of olive oil. And then I have... And again, a quarter teaspoon of pepper and a half a teaspoon of salt. So we're going to pop these in the oven at 400 just for about 10 or 15 minutes just to um, get them, you know, nice and sure. nice and soft. And then we'll be just putting it all together. So uh, it'll be yummy. That sounds great. We'll come back and check that out in just a little bit. Smelling good, Lucy. <laughs> all right, back with Lucy finishing up our fall chicken pot pie. Yes. We are almost there. We just pulled our butternut squash out of the oven. Okay. So we dice that up, just let it go in the oven for about 10 minutes with some olive oil and salt and pepper. And then I have about two cups of cooked chicken in here. And I just use rotisserie chicken because it's easy and they're so yummy. And also, you know, I pulled most of it and then I can use the leftovers to you know, feed the kids or do whatever. So mm -hmm. it's a really good value. And then we sauteed up our veggies. That was onion and celery and mushrooms. And they got some pretty color on there. And we seasoned it up with some salt and pepper and poultry seasoning and fresh thyme. And then over here I have, and I told you this is my grandfather's um, bowl that he used to use for chicken pot pies. So and my mom let me borrow it. And um, Posey, my grandmother, who did all the baking, I'm sure she will not be pleased with my store-bought crust 
crust that we're using today, <laughs> but I guess if she wants to make me some crust, she can go for it. <laughs> but um, so today I'm just using store-bought crust. I just got this one out of the dairy department, or you could get um, the ones out of the frozen department, mm -hmm. you know, that are in the pie shell. You could use puff pastry, just whatever. Um, so this was a two pack, so I put one down, I sprayed it, and I put one down. Last time I made a pot pie without a bottom crust, my family went a little berserk. <laughs> so if you wanna please everybody, do a bottom <laughs> crust. Um, so now I'm just gonna add some peas and some corn, and these are just frozen veggies that I let defrost, and I just did a cup of each. And my grandfather always put elbow macaroni in his pot pie. Huh. If y'all have seen me make pot pie on here before, um, <laughs> I did this, and I'm telling you what, cause I used to make this in college and people used to go nuts and it's really just I don't know it's a really neat just thing that he did and so of course I do it too um, and now I'm gonna do cream of mushroom and cream of celery and I'm gonna use two cups of chicken broth which is I already used two cups out of that so it's just gonna be the remainder of that and then we're gonna add our butternut squash okay you want me to put this in here yeah go for it I'll help you out here. And you could, of course, make this um, veggie. You know, you could just omit the chicken, and this would be really hearty enough um, with the butternut squash and the mushrooms. And it's really going to be, um, like you said earlier, just something that really warms you up. You know, yeah. our cool weather, I think, is coming. <laughs> and We all think it's coming. We all think it's coming. <laughs> I know every... When it's hot, we want cold. When it's cold, we want hot. But um, I could eat pot pie all year long. So we're just going to add this in and then put our crust on top. And it's just going to bake in the oven mm -hmm. for about 45 minutes, maybe an hour. Um, if you see that the um, crust is getting too brown, just put some foil on top. I burned. <laughs> My other one, because my kids distracted me, and I'll blame it on them. Blaming the kids. Blaming the kids. <laughs> they were, um, you know, they're always, you know, the kids are always wanting something. Yeah. And mine are obsessed with the little dum dum suckers, and they're oh, always yeah. saying, sucker, oh. sucker. So I gave in, I was getting the suckers, yeah. and then I burned the pot pie. I tell you what, though, I think you are going to be obsessed with this, this fall chicken mm -hmm. pot pie that Lucy's making. This recipe looks absolutely fantastic. Put it in an posies dish there, mm -hmm. and then putting another pie crust on top. Yep, I'm just going to poke a couple right. holes in it and get it in the oven. Sounds good. The rest is online the studio 10 tab at fox10tv.com lucy thanks a lot great Thank to see you, you.